Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to wash your topper safely. So um, you can do this in a sink if you don't have, you don't want to do it in the shower. I always prefer to do it in the shower because you can rinse all of the hair off. So first you want to brush your topper to make sure that you get all of the knots out of it. This is a curly topper, so as you can see, it's still a bit wavy. Um, it's my lace base one, so it's it's a lace cap with um, wefts going around, one that I've handmade. So you want to make sure that your water's not too hot. Um, lukewarm, sort of between warm and slightly hot is, is fine. You still want it to be warm enough so that you can wash the soap suds off properly. So first, turn your shower on. And get your hair just nice and wet. Make sure you close all of your clips before washing. Nice and wet. And just sort of wring out all of the excess water. Now, with with, the, uh, with hair, we shouldn't, it's not the actual hair length that we need to concentrate on washing, it's the cap. Because, you know, that's where all the, the dirt's come, the sweat and the oils from your scalp. So the shampoo will naturally go down the hair anyway, but it is the cap that you want to concentrate on. So I'm going to be using um, L'Oreal Paris Lis Ultimate. Um, it's a nice nourishing shampoo, um, I quite like it. So you could, if it's very, very greasy, you could use a clarifying shampoo. So what you want to do is just take a couple of pumps and just, just sort of wipe it around the inside of your top arm. So I like to just, you don't want to scrub it too hard, just give it a bit of a rub. Around. And then what you can do is just turn your shower on. Just put it, put a bit of water over the shampoo just to sod it up a little bit. You just want to sort of rub the shampoo into the lace. Now I'm only going to give this one shampoo but you can if it's you know usually we wash hair twice so um you know you can give it a second wash. The first wash is usually just to break up any oils and stuff and the grease in your hair. I always just put a bit of water over just to help it slide down the ends and you just want to sort of with your thumb is sort of massage you don't want to sort of start scrubbing or you know tangling the hair because that's what will happen and just sort of massage it through just do that because it is really the base of it that you're trying to you're trying to clean and the soap suds will naturally go down the hair anyway. This is what you want to be doing to your own hair as well. Your own hair, you want to be, it's your scalp you need to be washing. The shampoo will go down your hair. So then afterwards, you rinse it off. If you're going to apply a second layer of shampoo, then you could do that now. It is always best to use sulfate for it, it's just kind of on the hair. But I also like something that's a bit nourishing. Um, also, the L'Oreal Pro Long range is really, really good. I like their styling products. Also, if you do use powder, like root powder, like the coloured powders, then it is probably best to wash your topper twice. If you use that a lot on the actual topper, I'm not just going to let you You want to make sure that it's the shampoo is completely out all the while holding it where your parting is. The good trick of not losing your parting is keeping your thumb where the actual parting is when you're um, rinsing it and when you're shampooing it. If you don't, then you will end up losing your parting. You sometimes may notice the water's darker. It's not necessarily dirt. If you have coloured your topper, then sometimes that could be old colour coming out. Okay, 
Good way. Especially with a long hair cut, you need to make sure you rinse it quite a long time just to make sure that all of those suds are out. Okay. I think that's done. So what you want to do now is get your conditioner or conditioning mask. Now I um on my topper, I very, very rarely actually use conditioner. Um, I usually use a mask because I don't wash it as often as I wash my own hair. So I do use a mask. So I'm gonna be using this one today, the Prolonger. I just don't have any of the Prolonger shampoo left at the moment, so, but I do love this mask. It's really nice for long hair. It keeps the ends nice and full. Um, there's also a couple of other ones that I recommend. Um, but yeah, this one's great. So just mid lengths and ends only. I do sometimes bring it up to the top just to where, you know, my bangs are and also the return hairs just a little bit. But you don't want to be getting it on the lace. So the most important thing is not to get it on your lace. So anywhere, anywhere around that, you know, the area where your lace or your or your silk parting is, depending if you've got a lace or a silk parting, you just don't want to have it around there. Um, you can use a wide tooth comb or a brush and just gently brush the top off. Very gently. If it's very, very knotty, be very careful. You need to go from the bottom upwards. So doing the bottom first, then sort of bringing it upwards. I'm quite confident with mine because it's it's quite a new topper, so it's not not very knotty at the moment. So you just want to give it a nice brush through, get that conditioner evenly distributed, all the while still making sure that you do not get any conditioner on the root. That is the most important thing. So you can get it as close to the root as you want. Just sometimes I just bring some of the conditioner out it on my hands and just sort of finger it through just so that um, I'm getting it on the return hairs just to help them become soft as well but not touching the lace so I'm going to leave this for maybe 10 minutes um, and then come back to it and give it a rinse but you can leave it you know for, you can leave it overnight if you wanted to totally up to you but yeah I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes and then come back Okay, so 10 minutes has gone now, and I'm going to give it a little rinse. Remember, I'm keeping, I want to keep that part in, so I'm keeping my thumb right there. Make sure that your water is nice and warm to get your conditioner off, or your mask, whichever one you're using. I do prefer masks. Put on this. They're a lot more hydrating for the hair. So if you are looking to keep your top as long as possible, get a good mask. Try not to get one that's too heavy, like a really, really oily one. Um, you know, that's good to use once in a while, but it's not good for, for continuous use. Definitely not for continuous use. Because it'll just weigh the top of down, it'll make it feel really greasy eventually. Um, so just a nice one, the one that I'm using, the Prolonger, it's good for really long hair, it's good to keep the ends nice. I also use their styler products, which I'll do in the blow dry video. So, yeah, getting all of that conditioning out. Make sure there's none on the bow. Oh, 
more red thread. I think that's pretty well done. And just, just wring it out, wring the water out. Try and get as much of that moisture out as you can. Just get your towel and just wrap it in your towel. So I usually just hold it at the top, wrap it in and just wrap it around like that so that it's lengthways. So you've got a big long and then I just roll it round and hold it in there. I usually keep that in there for maybe 10 minutes just to drain all of the excess water out so that you're not blow drying, it's soaking wet. But um, yeah, so this should should get a lot of the, the excess moisture and then we'll get on to blow drying. I'll do a separate video for blow drying. So I hope you enjoyed this, bye.